welcome to Adventures of Big A. Today I'm at Still Lake Park and it looks like a pretty big park and got a lot of parking. Looks like a pretty fun place. Got a lot of good reviews online. So I thought I'd go ahead and check it out. Come with me as we check out the park today. This not only informs you of the lake being here, but it gives you the address of where it's located. There's public fishing here. Lock the gates at dusk, so you don't want to be caught here. It's a very large parking lot. It's only part of it. This is the other part. And then there's more parking if you keep following the road up. So you can see they have some nice picnic areas, both out in the sun and in the shade there. At this spot, they have a little grill to cook out on. A couple of tables, again, one in the shade, one in the sun. Lots of nice little forest. Grassy area for the kids to play. When I was coming into the park, I saw a little field or something up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and check and see what's up here. Looks like this park is spread over a pretty good sized area. Looks like there's a field here, like a soccer field. A lot of kids play soccer up here in the Northwest Seattle area. Looks like they built a memorial here to someone named Johnny, but I can't quite make out the last name on it. So it's obviously been around for a long time. Ah, that memorial must be to Johnny A. Massengale, because this field apparently is dedicated to him, but it's Site 5, so I'm assuming they have at least four other fields in this park. You can reserve a picnic area here. You know, if you have a special event, otherwise I think they just let you have a picnic here long as you're not like a really big group. And of course the field itself with seating for an audience. <laughs> and, and also for the players. They have porta potties here, trash cans. Looks like there's a rabbit here. You can always count on some wildlife to show up. And it's a nice day today. It's been raining out for, I don't know, about at least a week, I would say. And it finally got nice again. So it's a perfect day to do this. And they have some nice little boulders here on the side of the road to kind of decorate everything. The park closes at nine or dusk, whichever is earlier. Now we're at the Steel Lake picnic area. As you can see, this is a pretty big map here. They have many rules they want people to follow while they're here. Most parks do. There's something important for people with dogs to know, that they're allowed on a leash only, but they are not allowed in play areas, on the beach, or on the sports fields. This is site three. Kind of confirms what I was talking about earlier, that People with reservations will have priority. Anyone can use the picnic tables, but if you reserve them, then you have priority to anybody else that might be sitting here. That dog's looking at me. Once a year, my uncles, aunts, and cousins all used to come to parks to have a picnic and a family reunion. Those were some of the best times of my life. And I'm sure that's what the kids that are here now playing will probably be thinking as they get older. How fun it is to come and visit these places with your family and the memories that you create. And that's part of the reason I do this. It's, such, it's very rewarding uh, for me personally to come to these places, uh, many places I'd never even been to. But you should really consider coming to Steel Park at some point, especially if you have a family and you want a bunch of fun things to do. 
They have parking down here closer to the lake as well and a large play area for kids to play in. This is the other area for parking which is right over by the lake. Check out all the ducks and geese here. There's a bunch more ducks coming up to the shore or inland. I just passed an elderly woman who was feeding the ducks and the geese and here's a sign that gives you four good reasons not to feed them. You know, because there's uh, parasites in the waterfowl, increased nutrients, cause algae and weed growth. Feeding waterfowl can interfere with nature. And human food is not good for waterfowl. It's probably the number one reason. And it looks like the swimmer's itch that they were talking about on that sign from parasites has actually been reported here. They have a dock out there. Here's the swimming area for the people to go out into the water and play. The restrooms look like maybe vending machines over there. Apparently it wasn't vending machines. I saw from a distance. It was a little store they have here. This is an entrance they have on the west side of the lake. Looks like locals have access to the lake from here. Sign indicates the direction is Steel Lake Park, Sacagawea School, and FW High School, which is about half a mile from here, I guess. Yeah, there's another squirrel. There's a lot of them around here. Kind of made some noises, made stop and look at me. I do the, which is kind of a sound they make. So when you do that, you can get them to stop and look at you a lot of times. I guess this is where they keep their extra supply of picnic tables, which I imagine they need when summer gets here. It's almost here now. An extra parking lot here. Looks like it's for the badminton court and the basketball court which is right over there. The secondary exit out of the park. Looks like they have an area set up for volleyball. Don't have any nets up right now. I don't know if you're supposed to bring your own or ask them for them. As you can see, Steel Lake is a very nice looking area, lots of parking. I'm heading over to Site 4, which is probably the furthest site from the lake. Therefore, it has no picnickers. Thank you for joining me today at Steel Lake Park, and I ask that you come back and join me again in the future for another adventure of Big A.